So, I'm inviting you to join my morning routine. I just began, so I'm going to go back to the beginning. I've done a bit of stretching in bed. I'm not going to do that yet, but I'm going to do what I did first thing. I'm going to look towards the north. And I'm going to say, winds of winter, energies of the north, your cleansing breath sweep through me now. Gather me up and with your energy, give me a fresh inspirational vision of the year that's coming towards me. Allow me to see my friends and family as they truly are. Allow me to see the world as it truly is. I feel blessed. Spring sunshine of the rising sun. Energy of transformation and love. Regeneration, new growth, new life, new seeds, new shoots green, rising, healing, revealing to me who I truly am. Bring me all the energy I need. Stand behind me on my journeys of revelation. Ah, oh, the summer seas of the south and water. Winds, sun and water, three of the elements, air, fire and water. As I allow my connection with my bare feet to the ground and my arms reaching up to the sky and bringing energy down. Flowing down through me, connection to source, spirituality, love, peace, a new reality for the coming year. I'm facing west and it's clear that the land needs the regeneration of the energy of fire. The earth is unable to support so many people because so many people have treated her so disastrously. The earth herself, the land, the trees, we've cut them down, we've drunk all the water, we've poisoned the earth, the water, the air, we've created many of these ecological disasters and some of them are natural processes trying to clean up after us so to the west i say i'm sorry from myself it's up to others to accept their fair share of the pain in the world that we have caused each other let alone our sisters and brothers on foreign lands. So as I connect, I understand that there's two ways of looking at this. There's maybe many of these things would have happened with or without us, but we've definitely made things worse and we can make things better. All we have to do is stop and call in all the energetic resources of the world around us by looking inside ourselves and accepting that we are mighty, we are capable. If we connect to those around us, our addictions fall away. If we have the emotional support we need to be our best selves, we don't need 
to kill ourselves with drink and other drugs. We don't need to smoke ourselves to death. We don't need to stress ourselves into an early grave. We don't need to worry or misbehave because we're happy in ourselves. Because we know we're doing something to help heal the planet and each other. Sister. Brother. Lovers all of life. Can we not agree that we love to breathe, to eat, to drink, to play, to live? Don't we love to live? Don't we love to give everything that we have away? Thank you for this day, from my crown to my eyes, to my throat, to my heart, to my solar plexus, to my sacrum, to my root, to the roots in the base of my feet, the veins, the souls, the heels that connect me to the earth. And as I feel those solid foundations beneath me and I float down and stretch and feel the earth energies in my hands and wash up through my ankles to my shins, shin splints from walking many miles to deliver a Christmas card on Christmas Eve. I'm carrying a lot of weight because I've eaten everything that's been put in front of me. Mince pies, meat, anything you can name. If it's been offered to me, if it's been there, I've thankfully, gratefully eaten it. And I feel good, if slightly larger than I'm used to. But all this weight that I've put on, I'm about to enter into the wilderness and spend 2020 living wild every single evening I plan to venture out into nature wherever I am I plan to spend time on my bike or using public transport or walking with a light rucksack lighter than I've ever carried before but enough food for emergencies and eating wild like you've never even imagined you could. I'm going to be learning an awful lot, using my intuition, listening to the guidance I receive. I'm up to my knees and they relax and become soft. I'm checking my posture, how am I stood? Slightly unbalanced. There's a lot of creaking going on in this area. Reproduction, life force very energy of who I am. I'm not used to feeling that. I'm not used to being here. I spent so little time with somebody that I loved. And that includes me. I never loved me properly. I'm treating myself so well. All my clothes are clean. The top buttons are undone because I've put on a little bit of weight. And like I say, I'm going to be working that off. So where would you like me to be? What would you like me to do? Can I come and work hard on a farm? Can I plant out a vegetable garden? Can I come and help you? Can I run a conscious festival? Can I do the washing up? Can I help make lovely food? Can I do whatever it is you need me to do? Can I massage? Can I spiritually heal? Can I use these hands for something real? This video is getting quite long, so I'll finish my morning routine, wait until I'm hungry. I've had something to drink, that'll carry me through for another hour, or maybe two. And then when I feel hungry, I'll actually go and break my fast. But I'll be energised and I'll feel so light and flowing, even on my bad ankle. I know where I'm going. How about you? Get in contact with me. Tell me more about you. Is there something I can do? Is there somewhere I can be?
lots of love from me. Come here and give me a big hug. Even if it's cybernetically, telepathically, telepathically, empathically, lovingly so, from here to there, I'm going to go. Misty mornings. One last thought. As I lay back on the windowsill, something that I was taught, and I'm going to teach you, love what you do, love who you are, be yourself, shine like a star, I love you.